There's our first clue for the day. What do you reckon it is? Texty. Brown snake skin. We're getting close. So that one's not getting disturbed today. There's even more shed under here too. You can see it all tucked in there. So he's got an absolute ripper spot. And as you just saw, we're back out here in some... Would this be classified as Cumberland Plain? Um, yeah, surely. We're back out here in some Western Sydney Cumberland Plain. And as you just saw, we're with Jesse from Jesse's Wildlife. And we're trying to see what we can whip up. This is the man famous for flipping tin at the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna do just that. Hopefully we can pull something up. I don't know whether I would have released it yet, but I've got a video coming or that would have just come out where I saved a few snakes from this area from my mate that was cleaning up all the rubbish. A lot of Eastern brown snakes. So as you just saw, we're on the right track because we had that nice big brown snake skin and there's just so much junk around this area. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a bit of luck. And our first real snake for the day, under this tarpy. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful little Eastern brown snake. And there he is, so you can see how different Eastern brown snakes are. This is just a young fella. He'd probably be this season's hatchling. And look at the colors. You can see why they would get mixed up with different snakes. Like you don't expect these snakes to have those bands like that. That is pure black. Pure black banding down the body, the head, the nape. That is a ripper, ripper little snake. You can see how chill this guy is. It's probably a 16 degree day here in Western Sydney. He's barely even moving. He's having a look around. That and we're not posing any threat. He's just hiding underneath himself there. How cool is that? Ripping little dude. Over the moon with that. Maybe the shed skin was his mama. Now you can see exactly why Scotty, my mate from the other video, make sure you check it out, was pulling up so many snakes because they were going through this area with the excavator. They're obviously not pulling apart this stuff. Like, without a doubt, there's snakes in there. They're just coming in with the excavator, pulling it out. Tarp, for example, that little brown snake was under this tarp. All Jesse did was pick that up, snake. So they're coming through, reefing all this stuff out. That's exactly, exactly why they were unfortunately picking up so many reptiles. But we did get one lone survivor from that day, so it was it was a it was a good outcome for a bad scenario, I guess. But uh, hopefully we can get another couple snakes. How does this crap even get here? And you got a VS Commodore front bar as well. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Look at me eye. Don't worry about what happened there. You should just worry about the other bloke. <laughs> Hard to point that out, so you just didn't think I was wearing bloody blush or eyeliner or something. That'd be a little bit sus, wouldn't it? Now he's not a snake, but I'll take a good sized lizard or skink any day. This guy is a robust to notice. And look how sick he is. He's actually quite robust, hence the name. Beautiful long original tail. Ripping colors. You can imagine how much they would pop in the sun, especially on a summer day. And he's just hiding out under these 10 sheets here, trying to soak up a little heat in this winter cool. That's a ripper. I'm stoked on that guy. He was in under there. Off you go. Off you go, buddy. <laughs> Come to a new spot now. May. No, you won't actually, because it's just grassland. You won't recognize it, but this is where I released the Jesus Christ. 
the eastern brown snake that was stuck in the pink mesh, the pink netting. We're gonna have a little bit of walk around this area, see if we can come across anything. Yeah, more asbestosy looking stuff. Flipped all this with no luck, but surely we'll get something. <laughs> Nope. Another little skink here. These guys are very common in your backyard. As you can see he's regening his tail. He's doing a good little job at it. See how small he is compared to my hand there. They're such cool cryptic little dudes, which they're everywhere. And whoop. <laughs> you go back under your tin. <laughs> Kamikaze. Undoubtedly there would be stuff under there. There'd have to be a blue tongue. At least if you flipped absolutely everything there. There's another one of those skinks. But yeah, like I said in the other Cumberland plane video, you gotta be careful of this asbestos -y looking stuff. It's no good for you. Can you give me what I need? So we are back in the car. Oh, I'll look at you this way. We're back in the car. We've wished farewell to Jesse. He's headed back off, back home before the traffic catches up to him. It's Sunday afternoon, there shouldn't be too much traffic for the poor bugger, but he's got a bit of a way to go to get home from where he lives to Western Sydney. That's why I only really hurt the Hawkesbury. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, getting a little winter texty, a little winter Eastern Brown, a cracking looking one too. A couple little skinks. Um, yeah, all in all, not a bad little afternoon. Now I'm in three minds. One, we can either do this video on its own, a little short video for the winter. Two, we could head out another day in winter and do a little bit of a herping video. Or three, I chuck it at the back end of, or in the middle of the three Eastern Brown Snakes with Scotty. But I suppose you guys would already know because you're watching the video, but I've got no idea what I'm gonna do with that. But anyway, Either way, whatever it is, whether this is the ending, the intro, or the start, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. See you guys. Don't mind the wind and the filming, I'm just on my phone. How's this? I'll tack some extra clips onto that hour or so with Jesse, because otherwise it's going to be a super short video. But look what I got here. Huge bluey. So I just released a red belly like, caught in those houses down into that bush. And I'm like, oh, I'll go for a bit of a walk around because the sun's nice. There's a big red belly under a bathtub. We'll check if he's still there. And then on the this way, there's this huge blue tongue. Look at him, he's an absolute monster. Look at the size of the head on him. This guy has seen some things. He's lost his tail at some point. It's coming back. He's a whopper. I've had a heap of ticks. I pulled a few out of there. He's got some in his ears. Some in that ear, but... Oh, and behind his ear. He's an absolute trooper. The reptile ticks don't really affect these guys all that much. They just get what they need and then they fall off. It's something completely natural that these guys are used to dealing with in the wild. If he was in care, I'd obviously spend some time pulling them off, but he's doing well out here. <laughs> Look at your big fella. Huge head on him. Look at the size of the head. Look at that. Oh, come back here. Yeah, it just goes to show you, everyone thinks these snakes and reptiles disappear in winter. But nah, a nice stay when the sun's out like this, they'll definitely utilize that to get what they need on a nice day. So we'll send you back down here. You don't need to hide. We'll put you back down where you were. You don't need to hide. You can keep laying in the sun. You're too big for that red belly, so don't worry about him. Stay in the sun. Pretty sure he's living in that hole over there amongst these sandstone. It's probably where he's gonna go now because I've buggered him, but hopefully he'll stay out and lay in the sun. Now, let's go check, go check if that red belly's made another appearance. He was curled up just here and I walked past and he shot that way, but I lifted the bathtub and he was under there. And a huge rat came flying out when the snake went under. There's a lot of stuff under the bath, so I'd probably say he's hiding under that rather than being in a visible sight. But, oh, I can hear some sliding. It's one way to find out. Yeah, no, he's probably under all this junk here and we're not gonna disturb him. We don't want him to move away from his nice spot that he's got here, wherever he is, but what a spot. Literally a red belly there, bluey there. I'll cut 
come back here one morning when I'm around around about and have another walk because there's lots of stuff here we can look in amongst and under and there's gonna be more stuff just cruising around. And there's our bluey there. So exactly that was his burrow, right there. How good is that? Come out, lay amongst there, get some beautiful Aussie winter sun. But other than that, I'm getting out of this wind and into my nice warm car. Right, I'll see you another day. I'm gonna get some more winter snakes for you guys.